Mind the Truth Jackson here, Legacy FC 29. I'm joined by today's winner and his, not only his Legacy debut, his 125 debut. <laughs> Mr. Jonathan Brookins. First of all, how was that weight cut? Man, <laughs> the weight cut was an experience in its own. Um, super thankful for it, man. I learned a lot, man, a lot. It was really hard. Um, I didn't quite do it right, so I, I missed it by about two pounds. I, I thought I timed everything good, but it was my first time, you know? The, the lightest I've ever fought was 145, so I skipped 35 and went straight for it. So I'm disappointed that I didn't come in at the, the weight, you know, but like to come, so close and to put all my effort into it, you know, and to learn so much. I'll be back here, man. I really like 125. It felt good. What was the reason for just skipping over 135? Um, I just went and I, I traveled for a while. I, I went to um, India and I was just kind of like learning about the body and yoga. And I, I came back and I thought, you know, maybe there's something more. There's some limits that I could, I could press my body and something I could learn through this experience. Like not just cut weight just to cut weight or to be a fighter, but there's maybe something about myself I could learn through this experience through um, testing those limits so to kind of transcend just fighting and um, it, uh, it, it, uh, it, it seemed to do its purpose. I learned a lot and uh, that, was, that was the whole goal was to learn more about myself. Definitely. This is your first fight outside of the UFC. Where do you feel the competition stacks up at the 125 division outside, currently outside of the UFC? I, don't, I think 125 is pretty wide open. I think UFC hasn't quite filled their roster yet, so they're still finding people. So I think at, at, in a lot of places, you'll be able to find um, talent uh, comparable to, to the UFC outside of the UFC. So um, that, that's really cool as well that, that they're still filling the roster at 125 in the UFC. In the fight with Cody Fuller, it seemed like you, you had a steady pace. I mean, you were definitely aggressive. You got him on the ground. You stayed heavy. What was the game plan going into the fight? Uh, just to like relax and have fun, you know. I'd been over a year since I fought, so I just kind of wanted to just get in there and just see how like everything felt and and uh, just kind of just yeah like what they call ring rust, see how that was, and it, it felt good, man. I, I felt like uh, I felt very comfortable in there. No rust? Nah, there was some rust for sure. It took a took like a round or so to get it out, but much better now. Clean, man, clean. Nice. Uh, in the second round, you got him down, got his back. Uh, did you feel that the, the end was nearing the fight, or do you think he was going to be able to fight off a little longer? No, I could feel it was coming. You know, in the first round, I couldn't get his chin at all. It was super tough. But in the second round, I could feel that, like, it was a little bit looser. So maybe he got tired or so. So, yeah, he was ready. You're sporting a new look? Yeah, yeah, the no, locks are gone. No locks. What, what, what's going on with that? Why, why no locks? Oh, uh, man, because I, I found that... Um, Sometimes I wouldn't go to practice because I didn't want my hair to get pulled, you know? So, and I was like, if I'm skipping practice because I don't want my hair to get pulled, maybe my hair's got to go, man, you know? Like, I got to take this seriously. So I'm just trying to, trying to immerse myself, man. And uh, I think this is a good start to, to really, like, becoming a fighter. I got lots of work to do, man. And I like always, you know, this is, but I, I feel like I got some years left, so this will be cool. Jonathan Brookins, congratulations on your win tonight, my man. You, my friend, right, Jess.